I would like to um, welcome the color guard. Very special thank you to the color guard. Take your seats. My name is Louis Leuven, and I'm the executive director of the San Francisco Fleet Week Association, which is the organization responsible for organizing Fleet Week. And before we really get started, I'd like to uh, introduce, if you would just stand up, the chairman of the board for the San Francisco Fleet Week Association, General Mike Myatt, who is the inspiration for this program. Thank you, General Myatt. San Francisco Fleet Week comes to San Francisco once a year. It is a wonderful celebration, and it is built on the foundation of troops, community, and its center, the Fleet Week Center for Humanitarian Assistance. We have wonderful programs for the troops all week long, including on Friday evening at Pier 30, 3032, in the shadow of the USS uh, Somerset, is a Welcome Heroes concert. It is a free concert and festival uh, that will take place Friday evening from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the evening, and we invite all San Franciscans uh, to join us in celebrating the men and women who serve in our military. The community, there's so much that we do with the community. We work with the business districts. We work with the, uh, with the uh, foundations that run nonprofit programs, and there were a lot of community activities, including, of course, the nation's greatest uh, air show featuring the Blue Angels. And so you'll see all of that. Uh, it's all on our website and your uh, media, media packages, all of those events. And here we see the results of the Fleet Week Center for Humanitarian Assistance bringing together agencies at all levels of government, both civilian, military, nonprofit, for uh, helping to prepare our nation for, uh, to do a better job on disaster response humanitarian assistance missions. But today you're gonna hear from some real leaders. We have in our lineup today for you, Mayor London Breed, Rear Admiral John Gumbledon, Rear Admiral Pete Gutierre, Director Mary Ellen Car Carroll from the Department of Emergency Management, 
Deputy Chief Victor Wirsch of the San Francisco Fire Department, Police Chief Bill Scott, the Director of our Port of San Francisco, Elaine Forbes, and I'm going to invite Mayor Bree up, Bree up now. Thank you, Lewis. First, I'd like to thank the San Francisco Fleet Week Association for putting together what I think is an amazing week to celebrate Fleet Week right here in San Francisco. For 39 years, we have been honored to host this opportunity to bring the incredible men and women of our military, from the Navy to the Coast Guard to the Marines, Having you here in San Francisco is an absolute pleasure. So I welcome you to our incredible city, and I look forward to all that I know you will do to not only showcase what our military has to offer and what you continue to do to uh, defend our country, but more importantly, the work that you are doing in San Francisco to give back whether it's working with our high schools or our nonprofit organizations, serving meals to our seniors, so many things that Fleet Week has planned in store for this week is all about giving back. But I also want you to know how much we appreciate your sacrifice and the work that you do to protect our country. And this week is really about celebrating you know, everything that you have done to put your lives on the line to protect each and every one of us. We also take this as an opportunity to think about disaster preparedness because we know it's not a matter of when a disaster strikes, it's, a ma it's not a matter of if a disaster is gonna strike, it's a matter of when. And when it happens, not only do we need to go into action with our local officials, we need our state and federal officials to help us in this work. The Coast Guard has been a tremendous partner in helping us to address some of the rescues on the seas of the Bay. And we know that working together and focusing on disaster preparedness and getting ready and doing a number of simulations throughout San Francisco is gonna help us to be ready when it happens and continue to build relationships in a more resilient community. And so I not only wanna thank the military for their work in keeping our country safe, I want to also take this opportunity to thank the men and the women of the San Francisco Police and San Francisco Fire Department who work every single day to keep San Franciscans safe. And I know you're going to be hearing from the Department of Emergency Management who coordinates all those efforts, but here in our city, we believe in collaboration. We believe in protecting and supporting one another, and we believe in continuing to you know, serve and lift one another up in order to create a better, more resilient, and a more collaborative approach to what we know can make for a better country for each and every one of us. And so hosting Fleet Week in San Francisco is really a joy, a personal joy for me as someone who grew up here, born and raised, and look forward to hearing those jets fly across our city I went to Galileo High School, so we always look forward to October when we would be able to walk outside in the courtyard and on the football field and see those planes fly through or go to the Marina Green to see the parade of ships. It was a part of my upbringing here in San Francisco, and it's an honor to continue to carry on this incredible t tradition. And now at this time, I'd like to welcome to the stage the Rear Admiral John Gumbleton, of the United States Navy for a few remarks. Thank you all and enjoy Fleet Week. All right, well, hey, good morning. Thank you, Mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, and good morning. Uh, as introduced, I'm Rear Admiral John Gumbleton, and on behalf of my boss, Vice Admiral Scott Kahn, our newest Third Fleet Commander, uh, we're just so pleased. So I'd like to just extend my warmest gratitude to you, the residents and leaders of San Francisco. Incredible hospitality for all the uniformed men and women of the sea services during Fleet Week. So as said, 39 years, the city has just graciously opened its doors to our Navy, our Marine Corps, and our Coast Guard team. And this year, uh, we also have our Australian partners are coming, so that's a new opportunity for us. And so it's an opportunity to, for us to introduce to you our incredibly talented and hardworking sailors, Marines, and Coasties, and show off our state of the equipment hardware that the ships 
aircraft and equipment these young professionals maintain and operate every single day around the world. So uh, you can't see it, but right behind this building here, of course, we have the USS Pearl Harbor, and, and that's exactly what we're trying to showcase today is those sailors and Marines who uh, live and work aboard that great ship and uh, who uh, join us, of course, this all-volunteer force from across the United States. And, and so it's, it's bigger than us. With these sailors and Marines, they, they do something that's bigger than themselves. They join an organization, they learn, uh, and they establish their own goals. And so it's this one-two punch of service to self. They better themselves, but then they get to work and support this great nation of ours. So we're just so pleased that you get to help us celebrate them, our Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard. So San Francisco Fleet Week is, uh, it's big. It's, it's, this is in a league of its own, this Fleet Week. And so uh, we're very excited here that we can take advantage of what the mayor mentioned about all the great assets here in the city as we participate to create this unique opportunity to uh, exercise and collegially work together for vital disaster recovery training with your local experts, whether they're in the emergency management team, the port, the police, the fire, and really showcase today is uh, the public works. And when we try to figure out how we're gonna do the debris and clear the path so we can come in and help the city because this is defense support of civil authority. So this is where the city is leading this and the military comes in to support. So this is really the one-two punch to do work here collaboratively with uh, the great folks who work for the city. So with that, I'd just like to close up by saying uh, we're so incredibly pleased and grateful to be here. Mayor, thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, your your sea services team could not be happier to be here. And, uh, and so, it really is the one-two punch. It's uh, doing this defense support to civil authority, working together, but make no mistake, your, your Marines, Navy, and Coast Guard folks have a great time here, and that's, uh, that's the one-two punch. So again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Rear Admiral Pete Gautier from District 11. Thanks very much, Admiral Gumbleton. Mayor Breed, thank you so much for your kind words about the U.S. Coast Guard and about the sea services. Thank you for hosting all of the sea services this week here for San Francisco Fleet Week 2019. We are very much looking forward to this. Coast Guard's very excited to be a participant as usual at these wonderful events that we have planned. You know, we have over 4,000 Coast Guard men and women who live and work in the Greater Bay Area. Those are active duty reservists, Coast Guard auxiliary volu uh, volunteers, and our civilians. And this is, uh, and those folks every day help uh, secure and ensure the safety of our ports, our waterways, and our coast. And uh, this is just a great opportunity for us to strengthen our connection to the communities that we live in and that we serve every single day in the Coast Guard alongside with our fellow uh, our fellow sailors and our Marines. It's just going to be a great week. Um, I would like to uh, also reiterate how important it is for us to be participating in these emergency preparedness series of exercises. When something bad happens in the Bay Area, we know that relief will come from the sea. And we all need to be prepared as a community, the sea services here, along with our state and our local partners, to be ready for when that happens. And the Coast Guard is just a very proud member uh, to be participating in these exercises to help us boost our proficiency and improve our preparedness in order to serve this community. The people of the greater San Francisco Bay Area deserve that kind of service from our sea services, and that's exactly what they're going to get. I would like to... Uh, just say it's going to be a great week on the water. We have the air show. We've got the parade of ships. Um, I just urge everyone who's going out on the water to be safe. The Coast Guard is going to be out there with San Francisco Fire and Police Department and other agency vessels. We're going to be closing off a portion of the waterways for the parade of ships and for the Blue Angels air show. Boaters need to pay attention to those areas that are closed off. And as always, wear life jackets. Tell a loved one what your float plan or your sail plan is going to be in case something goes wrong. And we're all just going to look forward to having a great week here on the water and here in this local community. Thanks, every, everyone. And I would like to 
my, my pleasure to introduce uh, Mary Ellen Carroll, the Executive Director of the San Francisco Department of Emergency Management. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for everyone for being here. Um, so we love Fleet Week at the Department of Emergency Management, and we look forward to hopefully enjoying some of the festivities, but we really are, have, are laser focused on the disaster preparedness portion of Fleet Week. And my mission is to make sure that, that more people know about it and that San Francisco's, San Franciscans and visitors understand all of the work that goes into that component of Fleet Week. So um, to start, I just, I'm gonna do a quick list of all of the key players that work together to put on both a full-scale exercise, but also some senior level uh, seminars and discussions that are gonna happen later this week. So I wanna thank all of our partners by name, the US Navy, the US Marine Corps, uh, the, the United States, the U.S. Coast Guard, our California National Guard, and from the city of San Francisco, the San Francisco uh, Public Works Department, our San Francisco Fire Department, San Francisco Police Department, the Port of San Francisco, the San Francisco Fleet Week Association that we work hand in hand with to do these exercises, and our state and federal partners, California Office of Emergency Services, FEMA, and many other of the first responder uh, agencies that we work with. And finally, I wanted to uh, thank the staff, the small but mighty crew uh, from the Department of Emergency Management that puts this uh, exercise on. Thank you so much. Um, this year, the exercise will be focused on uh, emergency route opening and debris management. This is such a critical operation. I've been talking about it to many of you all morning. We can't really do any of our operations unless we can get through the streets and have access. And so we are very grateful to all the partners here today. Um, and I hope everyone, if you haven't had a chance to walk through the uh, static display and the various components inside here, I encourage you to do so. The exercise is a joint military-civilian exercise where we're testing our plans, our combined plans, our coordination and our procedures in a post-disaster environment. This exercise was also built on the lessons learned from the nine years, this is uh, our ninth or 10th year in doing these exercises um, in San Francisco. And then finally, you know, why is this so important? As the mayor spoke and other speakers, we cannot do this alone. We require the help of not only our neighbors, our, our state partners and our federal partners, but our military assets. And access from the sea is going to be incredibly critical. As I've been pointing out all morning, we're surrounded by water on three sides. Uh, you, can't, you cannot avoid that. And these um, also are going to help us ultimately serve all of the communities in San Francisco that you see inside. And it's critical that um, ultimately our responsibility is to ensure that everyone in San Francisco um, has, is responded to after an emergency and especially those most vulnerable among us. These exercises get better and better each year. I'm very proud of the uh, participation and the role of the city in this. And I am very grateful to our partners for all of you for being here. I look forward to working with you all week and I hope everyone has a wonderful Fleet Week. Uh, it is now my pleasure to introduce my colleague, Deputy Chief Victor Wurst from San Francisco Fire Department. Hello. Welcome to San Francisco Fleet Week 2019. Fleet Week is a time to celebrate San Francisco maritime tradition and to honor our courageous seafaring forces. These forces were joined, will join domestic public safety teams this week and share real life learned skills during joint trained training such as shipboard firefighting, urban search and rescue, medical rideouts, and canine operations. Training sessions like these make all of us more resilient and prepared to respond to and recover from disasters. With that said, to our Marines, 
always faithful, to our Navy sailors that are always courageous, and to our Coast Guard members who are always ready, welcome and we thank you. Uh, with that, uh, I'd like to introduce San Francisco, San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott. Good morning, everyone. Fleet Week is a special time to pay tribute to our military men and women and to reflect on the history of our city. First, I'd like to say to Rear Admiral Gruberton, Rear Admiral Gaudier, and all of your soldiers that are here with us today, thank you for your service and thank you for your leadership. Thank you for what you do to our, for our country. The San Francisco Police Department has been working for months with Fleet Week SF, the Department of Emergency Management, the Fire Department, the National Park Service, the Navy, other local, state, and federal partners to make this event safe and fun for all. As always, our mission is to provide safety with respect for residents and visitors to our beautiful city. Now, with that, here's what you can expect to see from the San Francisco Police Department during Fleet Week. Our officers will be patrolling on foot, bicycle, motorcycle, and in marked police cars. Our San Francisco Police Department Marine Unit will be patrolling the bay, providing security for visiting naval vessels and assisting the United States Coast Guard by keeping civilian vessels out of the waters beneath the air, air show performance areas. We also need your help to make this a safe and fun event. In that regard, there are a few simple things that you can do to make Fleet Week a safe and memorable experience. First, Allow extra travel time to get to your des destination due to anticipated crowds and anticipated increases in traffic. We're asking that you use public transportation, BART, AC Transit, Caltrain, Golden State Transit, Sam Trans, and ferries are excellent ways to get to the city of San Francisco. And once you're in the city, Muni has many routes servicing the waterfront and the Embarcadero to get you where you need to be. If you do drive, we're asking that you park smart Large public events often attract people looking to, mit, to commit crimes of opportunities. We don't want anybody to be an easy victim. Take your valuables with you, lock your cars, stay vigilant. Also, make a reunification plan. Sometimes kids, adults get separated from each other. They get separated from groups and families. Pick a meeting spot and make sure that everyone in your group knows where to go, where to meet up, even if you get separated. Also, have a phone number, a common phone number, where you have a coordinator, coordinator for your group or for your family. Finally, if you see something, say something. I know this sounds cliche, but it's really, really important. If you see something suspicious, something out of place, please report it. Notify your bus or train operator if you're on a bus or train, a parking enforcement officer, a park ranger, a police officer, or simply call 911 if it's an emergency. It's really important that we stay vigilant to keep our city safe. We know how to put on large events in this city. We do it over and over again, and we want everyone to have a safe and memorable and enjoyable Fleet Week. Thank you, and with your help, we can make 2019 a Fleet Week to remember. Thank you very much. And now, I'd like to introduce Elaine Forb, the Executive Director of the Port of San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you, Chief, and welcome to Fleet Week. Who says San Francisco doesn't have the best weather in the world? Look at this, it's October. Um, so welcome everyone. The Port of San Francisco is a very proud sponsor of this event and it's been going since 1981 uh, when then Mayor Dianne Feinstein uh, inaugurated Fleet Week. And I think it's very uh, important today that our Mayor London Breed is coming on this anniversary event. I think women mayors know about preparation don't they? So thank you everyone for all the preparation work that you're putting into this event. 
we have 24 million visitors that come to the waterfront, and one million of them come during this week of Fleet Week. So it's extremely popular to San Franciscans and to the entire region. Lots of people are going to come and celebrate the sea services. And we know that behind the scenes, behind the beautiful air show, there's a lot of preparation and logistics that have gone into making this a really, really important learning event. And it was actually General Myatt who told me, you never want to meet your, your colleague on the battlefield. And we're not going to meet our colleagues on the battlefield. We're pre practicing today for that big disaster and that earthquake, and have been practicing for weeks in advance. I'm very excited that the Parade of Ships is welcoming eight vessels this year that will be available to the public along the San Francisco waterfront. We even have a beautiful vessel from the Australian Royal Army, um, the Brisbane, the HMAS Brisbane. So we're looking forward to seeing her. I wish everyone a very spectacular Fleet Week. Stay safe and have fun. Let's just give a round of applause to these fabulous leaders who take their time and really take Fleet Week seriously. Thank you so much, Mayor, Admirals, Generals. Thank you so much. They will be available for question and answer following this program. So if you, uh, if you would like to talk to any of them, feel free to approach. And in addition to that, I want to remind everybody that you can actually take a walk over to the parking lot to my right and see some, beautiful, some really interesting static displays and meet and talk to some of the sailors, marines, coasties, and first responders who really are the experts in preparing to help ensure that we can save lives and property in the event of a catastrophic event. That concludes our program. Thank you very much.